like to take a step back and return to the previous work uh, and try to deal somewhere, somewhere between some problems in discourse theory because yeah. it's one of your main areas of interest. And um, the few things that struck me there, first was your insistence on the need to rethink the uh, position of economy yeah. inside this concept because this uh, yeah. cloud and Shita move when they yes. brought, they went in opposite by reacting against yeah. the economic determinism of Marxist theory. Yeah. Into, uh, obvious, uh, obviously, they went into another direction, and uh, perhaps your attempt to rethink uh, this with your current interest in the notion yeah. of biopolitics, because it seems to me that this was a conference about the other and post other, and somehow it, the other and post other were not illusive, but they were kind of. They were absent, but a lot of talk was given about biopolitics on one side, yeah. and capitalism on the other. Yeah. And I was just being curious. Yeah. I mean, one of the one of the things I've argued in in previous work is, in one sense, it's very straightforward, which is that um, what happened in the in the mid 1980s um, in Europe, and both historically and theoretically. I mean, political terms, the collapse of communism. In theoretical terms, Margaret Thatcher's declaration, there is no such thing as society, which was then echoed by Ernesto Leclau, who publishes Hegemony and Socialist Strategy a number of years afterwards and says there is no such thing as society. And he, he must obviously have been aware that he was using precisely the term that Margaret Thatcher had used, but, but in completely different... He's also different. thinking Lacanian. There's no, he's such, there's no, such, there's no such thing as a sexual yeah. relationship. There's no yeah. such thing as... He's, he's echoing Lacan as well, right. so he's, he's, playing a, he's playing a lot of games. Ah, so but, Thatcher was a Lacanian. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Indirectly, <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but she didn't know. She, did, yeah. <laughs> she knows not what she does. Um, she never did. But um, the, the, uh, so one of the problems I had, and I, I spent many years at, at the University of Essex working with Ernesto Leclerc, was that the critique of ex so-called economic determinism in the work of uh, Marx and Western Marxism, which Leclerc uh, traces, almost develops a genealogy of, in order precisely to break with this, with the conceptualization of antagonism. Um, antagonism is not having any particular relation to any, any necessary relation, sorry, to class or to any other particular social formation, uh, and relating that, of course, to the Lacanian conceptualization of the real, which we've just referred to. But one of the things I could never understand was why, having done that, the work was not then done to go back from within the humanities to the conceptualization of the economy and to reconceive the economy. Um, Using precisely that uh, that theoretical break. The was left, you know, this vague of dislocation, yeah. which is mm -hmm. And, 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 and any time someone mentions the economy, they get accused of being a Marxist. And any time somebody sort of you know talks about post postmodernism, post Marxism, they get accused of not dealing with the economy. And it's completely stupid. Um, there is no need uh, for us not to reread Marx. In fact, I think we should be rereading Marx without the ghosts. Um, the spectres that Derrida speaks about, and perhaps with the ghosts, um, not, without the, not without the ghosts. Um, but there's also no reason for those of us who work in the humanities not to engage with what is called the economy. Um, it, I mean, after all, if you remember, the, um, the term uh, uh, economy has its origins in the Greek, which refers to the living of life. It has to do with how uh, the, the norms that we impose upon the living of the home, the living of lives together, um, the family. Um, and one of the problems is economics has become abstract. We've forgotten what economics is in fact about, um, which is about the distribution and organization of relations between bodies, cells, flesh, um, and our relations to each other. So, so I think one of the challenges for the so-called post-Marxist left in inverted commas, whomever that is, whatever that is, is, um, is in fact to go back and to, to take charge once again of this notion of the economy. Um, without saying that it's the, Gigi calls the economy the real, uh, I think that's profoundly mistaken. Um, because it, it, uh, what that entails is that we can't engage uh, with it, we can't re-articulate what economy is, what it means, and we can't then politicize the economy, which is what Gigi also calls for. Um, so. Since you mentioned 